Okay, so in this video I will test the new Samsung wireless DeX mode on the new Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. This version has 256 GB of storage and also 5G and also in Mystic Bronze as you can see. So in this video I will use this Galaxy Note 20 Ultra with wireless DeX on my Samsung TV from 2019 and that TV, TV is uh, compatible with wireless Samsung DeX. So let's go into the Note 20 Ultra. Uh, it's hard to do this video with uh, holding one camera in, the, in one hand and doing the rest on this one but uh, Try doing this like this instead. Well, we go into an app called Samsung DeX. Nowadays, it's an app on the phone actually. So, if we search for Samsung DeX, let's search for DeX, as you can see there. Then we find the DeX app and click on that. Now, this opens, as you can see. You can also see some details about Samsung DeX. It want to start Samsung DeX immediately on my TV now, but I click cancel for now. As you can see here, here is some info about wireless Samsung DeX and Samsung DeX. We can scroll through some different information about it and so on. But as you can see, it has already found two TVs that support Samsung DeX. And I have already connected ones to my TV, as you can see on the top of the list there. So let's click on that to connect. Now this info comes out. Samsung DeX will have access to all of the information that is visible on your screen or played from your phone while casting. This includes information such as password, payment details, photos, messages and audio that you play, etc. But uh, let's start. Now you can see Samsung DeX starts on my TV and you hear some sound notifications down here and now we are connected to Samsung DeX. Now you can use uh, a keyboard and mouse with the Samsung DeX mode here if you want because it's a desktop mode you can use a full keyboard and mouse if you want but for this video I will use the Note 20 Ultra for everything so let's start the touchpad as you can see down here, you see use your phone as a touchpad. Control Samsung DeX using your finger or S Pen too. So let's start. Here we have the DeX touchpad. So now we can use that to move around the mouse pointer as you can see. So we can start different apps, for example, Samsung internet web browser like so and then we get a window with Samsung internet web browser We can also start another window. We can have the settings there for example Works great with the touchpad and when we should type anything we can do that with a Keyboard that pops up on the phone itself so let's go to my home page for the first time on Samsung DeX. As you can see there on the TV now we have typed swatling.net that's my home page so let's go there and now it has loaded my own site. So if you want to scroll down on the home page, we can do that with two fingers, as you can see. Mm 
works great. So you can use this touchpad with different commandos, commands and so on. So you can do two finger swipe, you can move uh, windows around by just hold and tap on the window and so on and drag it around. So you can do a lot of different kind of stuff with this simple touchpad on the Note 20 Ultra. But one huge cool feature is if you have a keyboard and mouse and doesn't need this touchpad, you can just uh, stop the touchpad and now you can use Samsung DeX on your TV with a keyboard and mouse, but you can use the phone. <laughs> Meanwhile, as a normal phone, a normal mode of the phone, so you can use this Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra as your normal phone now with normal apps and so on, but still have Samsung DeX running on your TV. And on the TV, you can use a mouse and keyboard. So it's separate. This phone is now separate from the Samsung Galaxy Samsung DeX mode. So you can use the phone for all the features you have there and you can use Samsung DeX for all the features there. So this is pretty nifty I think. But let's start the touchpad again and we go down in and look at what this is. Here we have the sound stuff. Here we can take a screenshot here we have the notifications and here we have a Wi-Fi and here we have some quick settings. If I click on them we can see Wi-Fi sound, Bluetooth, uh, airplane mode, flashlight, uh, we have a, we can turn off decks here if you want, we can go dark mode you know, and everything else here so that's pretty nifty and we can go here to the app dock so you can see all the apps that is installed on your phone and in samsung dex if you click here up we can see apps for samsung dex that starts in the web browser so you can see different apps that you can install on Samsung DeX that support Samsung DeX. And here we have all the apps that are started. We can go home and so on. So here we have all the apps and you can have them always in the desktop drawer here if you want to so have them always here, your favorite apps and so on. So wireless Samsung DeX works really great actually. This is one of the best features with a, with a new Samsung Galaxy device. You can have Samsung DeX and this wireless option makes it so much cooler and more useful because now you don't even need a cable. So that's brilliant actually. But you need to have a, a TV that supports uh, the Samsung wireless DeX mode it need to support Miracast and so on so that's the only problem but uh, every new Samsung TV for example supports that and some other TVs also do that actually from Sony and LG I think so that's Samsung wireless DeX oh I also forgot to show you how you turn uh, turn off wireless DeX again because that can be a kind of problematic uh, if you have uh, the phone like this and you have the touchpad you need to do a swipe from the bottom and up there and do a back now you have turned off the touchpad now you can go into the menu here and draw this down here and you can see that you are attached to a TV Dex is attached to my TV here. If you click on that, now Dex turns off. That is how you turn off Samsung Dex again. Works great actually. 
The Note 20 Ultra is a fast and very beautiful phone. If you're into Android much, I think uh, this is a great phone. It's the high-end phone to buy. If you want the best there is, you will buy this. But to me, I think the price is way too high for what you get. Not the, the hardware. The hardware is the best you can get, actually. But the Android experience will never be as good as uh, Apple experience. So I don't think that it's worth... The Android experience is not worth these kinds of money. But the hardware definitely is on this Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Definitely worth it. Okay. Bye. Thank <music> you.